Hi, I thought I'd do a quick overview of uh, my clamp uh, rack. Um, I used to have the clamps over on the pegboard, but they're kind of behind a bunch of equipment. Um, so it was always a pain to get them out. And really, I finished in the other stall, so I wanted to be able to just wheel things over there when I wanted. And then some of these, I got some uh, Bessie clamps, which I really like, but they're just kind of strapped to a two by four. So I figured I'd want to get this taken care of in a proper manner. So what I've done is really this is an A-frame um, type construction. I believe it's about eight degrees. I forget the exact, but I'll put the drawing in there if anybody's interested in it. But anyway, on the one side, everything's kind of uh, flush and equidistant. So there's Except the bottom, that's 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 laid out square against the uh, sheet of plywood. But the rest of them are sitting kind of flush with the A-frame on this side. So I get kind of uh, three bars to hang my clamps on. Um, and then on the front side, I've kind of done the, everything's pretty much well square. So the bottom, that square, that square. So you see that corner's kind of sticking out there. So it's more of a shelf type thing. I'm going for square and then the top I actually stayed with that eight degree angle and how it came out so it's a little more towards me um because it's just uh almost at my reach not terribly tall uh so anyway it's like a little place there so I've just got uh just in general uh, uh just kind of finishing probably the big thing is the glue uh and then really I wanted to get all my sanding supplies kind of out they were always in crates so you know I've got two sanders which i really like two palm top sanders uh, so i can kind of run with two pieces of uh, sandpaper and then of course i had a mismatch of sandpaper i think i bought more than i needed because i totally couldn't find it and then um you know i wanted a place for my uh, hand planes um it was something i've been ex exploring and then i mean right now i just got to finish where i used to just having a shelf i just anything that was finishing base i pretty much will put it on the uh, a-frame it's a little larger than the space I wanted to do with it. But anyway, it's mobile, so it's good for my one stall shop. Um, so I can at least push it around. Um, like I said, when I want to finish, I just move into the other stall. Or actually, if I'm sanding, I like to move outside. But do all the assembly in the other stall. So it's nice to have it uh, ready to go. Um, move the wife's car out. I don't know if there's anything else terribly surprising here. This is, um, you know, just took the miter saw and just cut it uh you know kind of measured what it was at the height so so these a little bit more support but then also finishes out the side so they're trays square on three sides and of course the back side is is there I, actually i just kind of um if you look at the bottoms they're just there's nothing particularly special holding these uh bottoms in i think i actually kind of uh counter sunk and towed them in um you know very quick dirty construction the holes here you know that build a larger hole went about halfway into the two by four and then just drill them straight through so um i do have a pocket hole jig but i kind of like the idea of just going straight in um a little bit better i won't get into the the war over how good pocket screws are but anyway um you know kind of a you know sometimes it's like uh did over like uh, i probably could have done it all in one weekend but i did the built the a-frames in one one day and then came back uh the next weekend and and then kind of built the trays so uh anyway um if i thought someone might be interested so i thought i'd share it um uh, good luck in your projects